King Charles halts summer holiday to issue a heartfelt personal message. The monarch's niece Zara Tyndall was a 2012 silver medalist. King Charles and Queen Camilla paused their Scottish break on Sunday to send a heartwarming message as the Olympic Games in Paris comes to a close. The statement, released by Buckingham Palace, read, My wife joins me in sending our warmest congratulations to the competitors and their support teams. From Team GB and across the whole Commonwealth, for their many outstanding successes at the Olympic Games in Paris. Your achievements, across so many disciplines, were forged from that invaluable combination of raw talent, true grit and hard oil over many years. Burnished these past weeks by sportsmanship and team spirit in the finest tradition of the Games. To those who missed out on the greatest prizes, you have most certainly not fallen short in the pride that you, too, have generated for your nations. As we thank France for hosting such a wonderful tournament and look to the Paralympics ahead, I can only say that you have all been an inspiration. Charles R. The message comes after the King and Queen were photographed attending church at Crathy Kirk close to Balmoral on Sunday when they both appeared to be in good spirits. Charles could be seen could be seen smiling as he drove the couple's car, with Camilla waving to gathered crowds as the couple made the short journey. To Crathy Kirk Church near Balmoral, where the royals traditionally enjoy the Sunday service. The couple both looked smart in dark suits, with the Queen modeling a stylish hat, Royal Olympic Connections Princess Anne competed at the 1976 Olympics in the equestrian three-day event. Not to be outdone, the Princess Royal's daughter, equestrian Zara Tyndall, is a former competitor. Winning a silver medal at the 2012 London Olympic Games, which was presented to her by her proud mum. Meanwhile Charlene, Princess of Monaco, who is originally from South Africa, met her husband Prince Albert when she was an Olympic swimmer who competed in the 4x100 relay in Sydney in 2000. Zara continues her love of sport to this day, including competing at the Hartbury International Horse Trials on Sunday. More Royal Well Wishes Prior to the start of the Olympics, the Princess Royal wished Team GB every bit of success as she met with athletes in Paris. Princess Anne, 73, spoke with diver Tom Daly and rower Helen Glover as they were named as the team's joint flag bearers ahead of the opening ceremony. It marked her first overseas visit since suffering a concussion and a minor head injury from a horse-related incident in June. Anne, who was president of the British Olympic Association, gave a speech and posed for a group photograph. With members of Team GB at the British Embassy in Paris. On Sunday evening, as the Olympics drew to a close, the Prince and Princess of Wales released a surprise video message in honor of the event. In a new video posted on their official Instagram account, the royal couple filmed a heartfelt message for Team GB, who are taking home an incredible 65 medals.